All right, here's solutions to question 17 from the GRE subject math practice test. Uh, we're given a bunch of equations and asked which one has the greatest number of real solutions. Okay, uh, the way I solved this was kind of a combination of geometrically and algebraically. I think I did it mostly geometrically, kind of graphing these things. Uh, x cubed equals 10 minus x. It's tempting to think this might have three solutions because you see uh, x to the third power here. Um, but rather than set this equal to zero and try to factor or do something like that, I think it's easier to graph x cubed, approximately. So that looks something, well, there's a terrible x cubed, like that. Uh, and then graph 10 minus x, well, that's a linear equation with y-intercept of 10 and slope negative 1. So it looks like this. Um, and so it's pretty clear that there's only going to be one solution to this first guy here, not three solutions. Um, so I only have one there. I guess I can move on to B. Maybe this is the picture for A. In the picture for B, I got x squared plus 5x minus 7 equals x plus 8. Uh, I don't know. A couple ways you could do this. I think it would be easiest. Well, I don't know what would be easiest. You could graph this. You could graph this parabola in this linear equation. But it might be easier to set it equal to 0 first. So subtract x from both sides of the equation. I got x squared plus 4x. Uh, subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. Minus 15 equals 0. Uh, and then to figure out the number of solutions that you have here, you could use the uh, determinant. So b squared minus 4ac. So b squared is 16 minus 4 times a times c. What's that equal to? I don't know. I, mean, I do know. I think it's 76. But it doesn't matter. It's a positive number. Uh, so I don't know. Determinant equals this. So I have two solutions. Uh, see here, we just got a linear equation. I mean, if you felt like it, you could collect the, you could solve for x and find the solution. Um, but I think it's fairly obvious that because it's a linear equation, because we have two lines, how about that? You got two lines with different slopes. They're going to intersect in exactly one point. D, e to the x equals x. I thought that was one of the harder ones on here. Um, I don't know what I did. I don't know if this is the best way to do it. Obviously, D, I guess. Let's try that again is I graphed both of them and thought about their intersections. So I thought about the graph of e to the x, e to the zero power is one. It kind of looks like this, roughly speaking. And then the graph of y equals x is this diagonal line. It sort of looks like this. And in my picture, it looks like there's no intersections, but you're like, hey, are you sure there's no intersections? Like what if this diagonal line crosses over here? Uh, or does it intersect at one point or not at all? I think it ends up intersecting not at all. The way you can convince yourself of that is by using a little bit of um, calculus, I suppose, some derivatives. So e to the zero. At zero, this is higher than this. And then the slope of this graph is e to the x. Right? And so the slope of this thing is at least one, the height here, or greater than one as I move to the right from this point. So the slope of this thing is always one. The slope of this right here is one. So what I'm saying is at this point, these guys are going up at the same speed even though it doesn't really look like it in my picture. And then when I'm further to the right, this top guy is going up quicker than this guy. So there's no way they can possibly intersect. I got zero solutions. Uh, final one here, secant of x equals e to the negative x squared. Uh, I don't know, that kind of red flag came up when I saw that one, like something weird's going on here. Secants and negative exponents, what's going on? Um, there's probably some SAT or GRE trick that you can do here, but what I did, is I say, well, I don't really like secants. I prefer sines and cosines when I'm imagining graphs. So the reciprocal here would be cosine of x, and the reciprocal here would be e to the x squared power. So I'm instead going to consider the equation cosine of x equals e raised up to the x squared power, something like that. Um, and then this is a little bit easier to see that we have exactly one solution, and that's because if you think about this graph here, e this exponent here is never going to be negative. It's going to be 0 or bigger. If it's 0, e to the 0 power is equal to 1. If it's anything greater than, if it's anything other than, if x is anything other than 0, then this thing here is positive when I square it. And e raised up to a positive number is greater than 1. So my graph's going to look kind of something like this, getting really big really quick. Uh, but wait a minute, this height here is 1. Think about the graph of cosine. Cosine gets up to 1, but never gets higher than that. It's up to one at exactly, well, infinitely many points, but it gets up to one when x equals zero. So there's one point of intersection right here. I have one solution, namely when x equals zero to this equation. Um, so 
I get that they're the most solutions I have here come from B. And I guess really I should have been a little bit more careful here taking the reciprocals. When you're taking the reciprocal, you have to kind of assume that, um, I, I mean, I guess I could get into trouble if something equals zero and I took the reciprocal and dividing by zero. Uh, but that ends up not being problematic in this specific case. The points that I'm interested in are well-defined. I guess the point that I'm getting at is that if you try to plug, uh, let's see, think back to my unit circle, pi over two into this thing, into my graph over two here, pi over two has a height, it's zero, but really pi over two should be undefined over here. But that ends up not being problematic because when the height is zero, I'm nowhere close to the graph of this guy here. Uh, so at any rate, here's the number of solutions that you have. The highest number you see here is two, which is answer B.